Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Paul's back with another SPL game. Uh, this is a week 4 RU game between NJMP and Silentverse. Uh, this is also the last week that RU players will have to deal with the, the monster that is Kevin Durant. Uh, yeah, Durant is a stupid broken piece of shit. So yeah, the, uh, it was recently banned, so that thing's going to be out of the out of this tier next week. Uh, I like Silent Versus team. It's got a pretty common defensive core of Megalix and Milotic. And uh, Milotic is just... It has so much usage in SPL for RU this so far this season, just because like it checks so much. It's a great mon, but yeah, I like his team a lot. Um, you see, NJMP bringing out the Mega Blastoise, which is like a new drop to RU. Uh, happy to see it down here. I think he could do really well. Whereas in UU, it's kind of like lost. It wasn't used very much. Uh, in RU, I think it's definitely going to have a nice spot uh, in the tier. So I'm happy to see it down here. I uh, see U turn on Flygon, probably uh, confirming Scarf would be my guess. Uh, Steelix is going to get up rocks, but Blastoise is just going to spin, and uh, Silent Verse should probably go into Rotom here. Uh, the other play is Milotic, but I agree with Rotom, yeah, because uh, this gives you a little bit more momentum, because it's going to be able to Volt out here. Uh, assuming that NGMP doesn't go Flygon, his safer switch is just to go Virizion, so if Silent Verse, like, he could, he could Leaf Storm, uh, but I would probably just Volt if I was him. And this Rotom, I don't know, th this could be Scarf Rotom, but I feel like he needs a more reliable Defogger for the Moltres, so this... Probably, I wouldn't, I don't know, but it wasn't, it could be also be like Grass Z, I guess. Um, because to me, I would assume that the Scarfer would probably be the Tyrantrum then. Um, but like I said, it could be Scarf Rotom as well, but then the hazard removal is not very reliable. You could also have Defog on the Moltres itself. Um, but yeah, okay, so now we go Croak on the Verzion, right? So like Verzion's probably SD3 attack, so it's with Roxy, so it can't touch the Croak. Unfortunately, uh, Silent Verse misses um, a Gunk Shot. Now, if the Toxic Croak had SD, I probably would have... Er, if it had a, a Z move to kill the Diancie at plus 2, I probably would have gone for it. Like, I would have SD'd on the Switch and then Z'd. Um, but yeah, I guess here, uh, Silent Verse could go into his... He could probably go into Steelix, I, I guess, or um, if he thinks rocks are coming up, he could stay in and try and gunk this or SD or something on the rocks is also a potential play. Uh, so NGMP doubles into Durant as Silentverse does stay in into SD. I think he's predicting rocks. But uh, on NGMP's team, this Durant, because of the flag on Scarf and uh, the Z-Move's like 90% going to 99% going to be on Verizion, I'd assume this is either Life Orb or Banded. So he doesn't want to stay in with the Croak. Uh, I feel like that'd be a bad play. <laughs> uh, he has a couple options. Uh, he has a couple options, though. He could go into Milo on um, on Iron Head. He could go into... I think Lix is the safest overall play, though. Um, Moltres is another option on Iron Head. The problem is if this is carrying Rock Slide and he catches the Moltres, that'd be bad. So I feel like Silentverse doesn't want to go there. Uh, I think overall Steelix is probably the safest switch in. Uh, you also don't want to go to Milotic because if he's like... Uh, if he's like Home Claws Thunder Punch or something like that, you don't want to eat that. So... Um, yeah, I think overall the best play is to go to Licks. Um, but yeah, he's thinking through these plays. NJMP's taking a little bit of time here. Um, yeah, Yamega looks like it could be a bit of an... Uh, no, Yamega's... I guess, yeah, Yamega could be an issue, I guess, if it predicts right. If he gets rocks up. Like, Bug Buzz isn't going to do shit, even with Tinted Lens to Moltres, because obviously it's four times resist, but, like, if you get rocks up... You could, like, Air Slash kill it, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess Air Slash overall is pretty safe for the Yan Mega on NGMP side if it gets in. Specs Air Slash is going to bust through uh, Silent Verse. But, uh, yeah, can we turn off timer? My internet is bugging. All right, so NGMP's got some internet troubles, but he's not DC'd. I guess it's just running slow or something. Uh, yeah, all right, so... I guess that's what was taking a long time because if I'm on JMP, I'm probably just clicking Iron Head here um, uh, in hoping that you don't miss. Because Hustle, of course, Hustle is a great ability. But yeah, Home Claw sets. I love, like, Durant is. Uh, well, okay, it's obviously too good for RU because it just got banned, but even when it was in the tier, I I liked using Home Claw sets, like, the best just because I hate Hustle. It's so, uh, so frustrating to use without, like, a Home Claws boost. But even then, like, Bandit is stupid strong. Like, Bandit, yeah, Bandit Durant could do some crazy stuff damage-wise because, um, it's like a double band, right? Because Hustle gives you the 1.5 times boost. And it's, like, one of the only Hustle Mons that actually has, like, a good attack stat, which is what makes it crazy. Okay, so, um, we, I, I'm hoping we could get, like, a TD in here or something that could... 
maybe turn the timer off for them. I don't know because we did see um, Silentverse did say that he that we allowed timer. He allows the timer to go off, which you need like you need your opponent to agree to it. But yeah, that after he agreed to it, I don't yeah I don't know if we could get a TD in here and do something about that. I uh, see Ironhead does 20 to Steelix. Uh, that probably is banded. Um, that does a shit ton. I mean, we all know Steelix has like 55,000 defense. Probably just get up the rocks again. And a double to Rotom is a better play. But, like, I felt he could have just rocks too because, it, like, Blastoise is going to want to spin anyway for the Yanmega. So you get a free Rotom anyway. Um, but, yeah, now I would probably just Volt again. If I'm at GMP one of these times, I'm probably trying to go into uh, Flygon. Um... But yeah, he goes Verizion again on the Volt. And now we're going to see Toxic Girl come back out. And I think probably throw off another Gunk. Although this time, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like SD and Gunk are would be, like, the two obvious plays. So I think that NGMP could probably go into Durant, which I think is better than, yeah, is better than um, Diancy. So if I was Silent Verse, I may have just, like, Drain there because Drain... If you're not going to SD, like, Gunk's not going to do that much Diancy anyway, so you could have just drained it, I guess. I mean, it would have done a lot, clearly. And, like, I guess, yeah, Gunk is, like, almost double the power of Drain Punch, so I guess, like, that is a significant amount of damage difference on Diancy. So I, I understand Gunk, for sure. Uh, so my Luda comes in, takes 42. Yeah, now I'm, I'm positive that that's banded, and it's probably, like, more fizzed up my Lodic, like, bold, um, because that is the damage that, that Banded Crunch does to my Lodic is like around 40 so yeah pretty much confirms that silent verse could uh probably recover if he wants to keep this healthy he could also throw off a scald because njmp doesn't have any great switch-ins to scald like verizion doesn't want to get burned um it already is going to have trouble doing anything this game as long as croak stays healthy so he goes diancy on recover i i agree with that play too because you want to keep this healthy to be able to switch into stuff like durant um Although you don't want to come in on Bandit X Scissor, believe me. <laughs> yeah, that's just going to send you packing to another dimension. So now, uh, Silent First could defog here um, because he needs him off for the Moltres. So I honestly don't think it's a bad play for NJMP to stay in and click Diamond Storm. Uh, especially if this Rotom, like this Rotom probably lacks recovery because uh, we don't see leftovers. I'm assuming it's like Grass Z. It could be like Pain Split. It's pro it could be Pain Split in the last slot, but I'm assuming it'd be like Volt. Like what, Volt, uh, Leaf Storm, Defog, and then either Pain Split or Willow. But either way, it doesn't have great recovery. And he's definitely clicking Defog here, I feel like. So I, I think staying in and clicking uh, Diamond Storm is a fine play to whittle down the Rotom. Uh, because getting Rocks up is going to be really important for NJMP. Uh, but yeah, if I'm Silent First, I'm Defogging 100% of the time here. Uh, unless he wants to play aggressive and like Volt, but I feel like Defog is just always the play. I was going to say Volt on Verizion, but I guess, like, if you're going to play aggressive, it's because you think Diancy's going to stay in, so you leave Storm. But either way, I feel like just Defog is just safer. Like, Defog gets you... There's no way Defog could be a dead turn, but if you, like... If you Volt on and Diancy stays in, that's a pretty dead turn. If you leave Storm on the Verzion switch, that's also a dead turn. So I feel like Defog overall is the best play. All right, we got some more chatter going on here. So we see uh, NGMP saying Timer, and Silent Verse says, uh, that's on the TDs to stop it, right? ABR says, what's the issue? And NJMP says, yeah, he said it can be off. Do you both agree to have it off? Yee, yes. All right, so can we, are we going to turn it off or what? <laughs> uh, what, what, what's the issue here? You know, I hate when this shit happens, right? Because I, I can't think of enough stuff to talk about. So he does go Flygon expecting either like what, Volt or Defog. But like, this doesn't do much like uh, he's not gonna outrage here with like a steel uh, I like I don't see um, NGMP doing anything except for u-turning so honestly silent verse could probably volt like I, I think I'd make that play he could also go Milo I think is kind of safe as well like scarf these run what like outrage earthquake u-turn and then either dragon claw um, could be could run scarf defog fire punch I don't know shit like that because Fire Punch in this tier hits like the, like a Scavalier and Durant, whereas like Earthquake doesn't really. U-turns. Yeah, like I said, I agree with Silent Verse staying in. That actually did a lot, though. Uh, but well, I'd probably just Volt here if I was him. 
goes for Ezion. Do we Volt? Yep. All right. Nice play there. Uh, although Rotom is weakened, though, and that's going to be bad if we if NJMP could get Rocks up again uh, to stay. So now Croak comes out. I guess he's just going to click. I would honestly just click Drain Punch because you always have these like mind games between going Durant and going uh, Diancie. Where I feel like Drain Punch will at least get you something out of the turn. So he goes Durant. Yeah, okay, he does make the Drain Punch play. That's just Okay, and his Life Orb, so this, that pretty much confirms that the Z-move is probably on the Rotom. It is probably Grass Z. Um... And now, I would go into the Steelix here again because uh, you showed my Lotic last time, and you don't. Yeah, you don't want it to get X Scissored. He does just Crunch again. Either way, like that doesn't do too much. And um, if I'm Silent Verse, I probably just rocks up again. If if NJMP, I don't think he would stay in. But if he does stay in, I don't think it's the end of the world because you could actually possibly keep rocks up if you play aggressively now. Um, like doubling your Rotom into the into the Blastoise. Uh, if I'm NJMP, I'm definitely just going into Blastoise every time to make sure the rocks never never stay up. Um, and just spinning, yeah, that's the best play. Is he double into Croak? Nice hot play. Well, I guess because he knew it was locked into Crunch, right? Uh, so I get that play. And this should wall. Right, this does wall Blastoise, yeah, because it, like Ice Beam's not going to do that much if he has that. Uh, but other than that, like Water Absorb, of course, and then uh, like Dark Pulse resisted, Aura Sphere resisted. So yeah, Croak's obviously a great uh, check to Blastoise, and NJMP is going to be forced out. I still think Drain Punch is the best play. Um, it goes Yan Mega on Drain, and now something is going to. Yeah, he's like I think Silent Verse. I think um, NJMP just clicks Air Slash, right? Because he doesn't have, with Tinted Lens, he doesn't have a flying resist. Like, he doesn't have a, a quad flying resist. So, even, like, Steelix is going to get destroyed. My Lotic. Wait, that did nothing. What the fuck? Now, I'm underestimating my Lotic. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I underestimated. Um, yeah, maybe I look like a noob, but... Yeah, my Lotic is really good. I guess he's still playing around with flinches, but... Um, yeah, this shows you why my Lotic spammed on, like, every team. Um... Uh, that's a good mon. Now, um, I think NJMP is going, okay, Diancie again on Scald. Uh, Burn would be nice for Silent Verse because it helped wear this thing down. Um, and that did nothing with the leftovers. Uh, that really didn't do much. Uh, he like Biologic obviously beats this one v one, but it's just a matter of if he wants rocks going up because he could just go back into Rotom. I'd assume on rocks, Scalds again um, doesn't get the burn, but now Diancy will die to the next one. So I assume uh, NJMP is not gonna want to stay in, but like he doesn't even have much for my Lotic. That's the thing. Like what what does he even switch into my Lotic? Is nothing. <laughs> I don't like that team. <laughs> um. Yeah, it, like, the only thing that wants to switch into Scald is, like, Blastoise, but Milotic walls that anyway, so, like, well, you're not, yeah, what are you actually accomplishing? You're not accompl accomplishing anything. He goes Blastoise, Scalds, but yeah, this thing can't touch him, so, like, Milotic will stay in and just keep spamming Scald. The The standard set is, like, Scald, Refresh, um, Recover, Haze. I guess you could fit Toxic on there over, like, Refresh, but, um, yeah. Dark Pulse doing a clean 28. That's what I'm saying. Like, going Blastoise doesn't get you anywhere. You lose this 1v1 every time. Now we see a disconnection. Do you want it off? Well, isn't it... If it disconnects, don't they have to turn it off? Isn't that what they were just talking about a couple minutes ago? Um, say no. There, I'm reading the... The Smog Tours chat. Alright, so it looks like we might have a very anticlimactic finish to this. He did <laughs> so no. Um, I don't get exactly how this works with... Um, I don't get exactly how this works with recreations. Like, if they sent the team in... Uh, yeah, I don't know, like... I feel... There's, like, certain rules about if your timer's at a certain, like, time limit when you disconnect it, you can't recreate or something... You're going to have to look on Smogon for all that. I'm not all caught up on the rules, so. But I'm pretty sure Silent Verse actually did get the win for this. So, hey, you take him the way you get him, right? you could get him, right? I don't think NGMP could even beat Milotic at all, so I don't think it was going to... Like, overall, I'm pretty sure that, like, 
yeah, this game is going to be over anyway because um, Milotic beats like everything outside of Verizion, and he has um, Toxic Croak for that. So yeah, I don't really see. I don't think NJMP would win in the long run anyway. Um, yeah, see, I think Doc's going to throw up the score here, so we'll stay tuned, stay around for that. Um, Uh, maybe I could just fast forward to that. Let me see. Where are we at? Okay. Um, we got. I don't want to sit here and read all this for like two minutes. That's going to be boring for everyone. So we go here to the. Come on. All right, here we go. NJMP's. Uh, yeah, he. Okay, so he posted all the stuff that uh, was posted in the Smog Tours. Or in the, in the battle chat, right? So they, they're saying that. Uh, we'll turn it off if you DC. You can't turn timer off unless someone DCs. But then didn't he DC at the end? But then he, like, okay, so Silent First at the beginning said, yeah, we could turn the timer off. But then he said, no, we can't turn timer off until he disconnects. And then when he actually disconnected, Silent First says, no, don't turn it off. <laughs> All right, that's pretty heat. All right, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I, it looks like... I'm pretty sure, okay, so if Silent vs. 1, then the Tyrants win the week, 7-5. If there's a recreation, then um, I guess we'll bring that to you when it happens, but uh, as for the time being, assume that Silent vs. 1, the Tyrants run the week. But I guess with that, yeah, we'll call that call that a video. That was um, one of the more interesting uh, games that I've done <laughs> recently. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, Ultra Balls out, peace.